All of you were given two great gifts, your mind and your time. An incompetent, lazy, arrogant, or corrupt accountant or attorney can cost you a lot of money. I know from personal experience. Just because someone is an A student in school does not mean they are competent or honest in real life. In school we learn that mistakes are bad, and we are punished for making them. Yet if you look at the way humans are designed to learn, we learn by making mistakes. You can always quit. So why quit now? That. Why not seek to learn more than to earn? What I know makes me money. What I don't know loses me money. Every time I have been arrogant, I have lost money. Because when I'm arrogant, I truly believe that what I don't know is not important. Money is one form of power. But what is more powerful is financial education. Money comes and goes, but if you have the education about how money works, you gain power over it and can begin building wealth. If you have read this far, arrogance is not one of your problems. Arrogant people rarely read or listen to experts. Why should they? They are the center of the universe. You must know the difference between an asset and a liability, and buy assets. He also despised the school system, although, he thrived in it. He became a teacher because he also dreamed of changing the system, but instead the system crushed him. He took his passion, tried to change the system, and ran into a brick wall. It was a system that too many people were making money in, and no one wanted it changed although there was a lot of talk about the need for change. To be truly rich, we need to be able to give as well as to receive. Focus, follow one course until successful. The most important specialized skills are sales and marketing. The ability to sell, to communicate to another human being, be it a customer, employee, boss, spouse, or child, is the base skill of personal success. Communication skills such as writing, speaking, and negotiating are crucial to a life of success. These are skills I work on constantly, attending courses or buying educational resources to expand my knowledge. Mind your business. Don't spend your whole life working for someone else. You cannot bring about prosperity by discouraging thrift. You cannot strengthen the weak by weakening the strong. You cannot help the wage earner by pulling down the wage payer. You cannot further the brotherhood of man by encouraging class hatred. You cannot help the poor by destroying the rich. You cannot keep out of trouble by spending more than you earn. You cannot build character and courage by taking away man's initiative and independence. You cannot help men permanently by doing for them what they could and should do for themselves. The corporate myth is over. If you've spent years climbing the corporate ladder, have you ever stopped to notice the view? What view, you ask? The rear end of the person in front of you. That's what you get to look forward to. If that's the way you want to view the rest of your life, then this book probably isn't for you. But if you are sick and tired of looking at someone else's behind, then read on. If you have little money and you want to be rich, you must first be focused, not balanced. Words form thoughts, thoughts form realities, and realities become life.
Be not afraid of growing slowly, be afraid only of standing still. If you want more income, learn to sell. The poor and the middle class work for money. The rich have money work for them. Life pushes all of us around. Some people give up and others fight. A few learn the lesson and move on. They welcome life pushing them around. Stop blaming me and thinking I'm the problem. If you think I'm the problem, then you have to change me. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something, and grow wiser. When it comes to money, most people want to play it safe and feel secure. So passion does not direct them. Fear does. Most people, given more money, only get into more debt. It's fear that keeps most people working at a job, the fear of not paying their bills, the fear of being fired, the fear of not having enough money, and the fear of starting over. That's the price of studying to learn a profession or trade, and then working for money. Most people become a slave to money and then get angry at their boss. Most people do not know that it's their emotions that are doing the thinking. A job is really a short-term solution to a long-term problem. It's just like the picture of a donkey dragging a cart with its owner dangling a carrot just in front of its nose. The donkey's owner may be going where he wants to, but the donkey is chasing an illusion. Tomorrow there will only be another carrot for the donkey.